Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at something which is going on behind the scenes with Microsoft Windows. Yep, there's something else to be looking out for. Now, this actually isn't such a bad thing, but potentially it could turn into it. So, this is the Microsoft Recall software, which is supposed to be running on Windows AI based PCs but it does appear that it's making some appearance in non-AI PCs. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to enable or disable the feature. Also how to check if it's actually running on your system and potentially another way of doing it from the group policy editor if you're using a Windows professional version. So let's go to the computer and get started. Now I should say, first of all, big shout out to uh, Francisco Borges, 28. 85 you actually highlighted this in one of the video comments and actually for those of you that are watching if you're seeing things which are happening in the tech industry and you think that we should cover it then please feel free to either drop us an email or just leave a comment on one of the existing videos so this is the kind of the details so using the dism command we can actually see if recall is running on our pc now in order to do this we want to go down to the bottom start flag here right click and open up a terminal with admin privileges when you do that, you'll get the user account control notification come up. So we're gonna to wanna to click on yes for that. And we'll get the PowerShell window. So I'm gonna leave these commands actually in the video description so you can copy and paste them just as I'm doing here. So the first one we're gonna do is the DISM online get feature info. And the feature name we want to investigate or interrogate is recall. So we're gonna copy this one, head over here, control V, paste that in, and then we're gonna hit enter. So now PowerShell has executed our command. So it's using the deployment image servicing and management tool, and it's checked for a feature called recall. And as you can see here, the state is currently set to enabled. Now I haven't enabled this. So this means that Microsoft have automatically enabled the application to be running in the background. Regardless if this is actually a recall enabled PC or not, the service is still running. So obviously that is a little bit problematic. So we've got some options here so we can either enable or disable the feature. So again, you can copy and paste these from here. So we'll choose this command here. So this one here is to disable the feature. And as you can see, the one underneath it is to actually enable it. So again, head over to your PowerShell terminal, control V, paste it in there. So the command we're gonna be running is DISM space forward slash online forward space disable feature for space forward slash feature name recall. Hit enter and you'll see there, it's gone ahead and it's done it quite quickly on this system. It's quite a speedy system. So 100% completed. So now if we press the up arrow, we can run previous commands and we'll get feature info. And there we go. So now our state is now classed as disabled. So we know it's disabled, so that's absolutely great. Now if you want to re-enable it for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to, but you can just change the details there. So rather than disable feature, you can use enable feature. So again, we'll copy that. We'll paste it in here, control V, press enter. It's now gonna do it again. So we can run the command again, so we can get the feature info. And again, it's enabled again. So let's press up a couple of times. We'll disable it again, just to make sure and Yep, it is currently disabled. This will basically work on any Windows 11 24H2 uh, PC. Alternatively, if you want to go actually into the group policy editor, you can do that. So let's take a look there. So if you go into the local group policy editor, if you want to find that, just type in search, just type in uh, local and group and it should find it for editing. You want to go into user configuration, go into administrative templates, expand that, then go into your Windows components, and we'll scroll down to this ominous section here called Windows AI. And you've got this option now saying, turn off saving snapshots for Windows. So at the moment it's not configured and it's set to no. So having this set to no means that it is saving snapshots. So double click on this one. And all we need to do is change that to enabled. Click on apply. Now obviously you can kind of read through here. So I'll tell you what doing so it says there if you enable this policy setting windows will not be able to save snapshots and users won't be able to search for or browse through their historical device activity using recall excellent exactly what we want so click on apply and that is it so once that's done close this down close all your windows 
and you can go ahead and use your PC as you would normally without having to worry about recall and getting involved with your system. Okay, so there you go. There's some uh, pretty easy ways there of disabling the recall feature within Windows. No doubt Microsoft at some point will come back and after an update, it will be re-enabled. You know what Microsoft are like, but hopefully for now, for those of you on Windows 24 H2, this is going to be useful and possibly you might want to bookmark this video just in case when there are updates, you want to go in and recheck it so you can have those commands at your fingertips. So hopefully this video has been useful. Also, thank you very much to the user that actually sent in this information. I'll be your name will be highlighted there at the bottom. So thank you very much. And like I said, if you've got any ideas of videos which you'd like to see us cover or things which are in the news which you feel need a little bit more representation online, please feel free to let us know in that comment section or drop us an email, mike at mikesunboxing.com. So I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.